Hey guys, I'm Joey, that's Explosive, and this is Over the Table. Hello everyone, welcome back to Over the Table. Today we've got such a fun project. We are going to be making impact explosive powder out of a box of matches you can get for a dollar. Everyone loves explosives. If you love explosives, give this video a thumbs up. It is dangerous. So I do suggest don't try this at home, try it at a friend's home. Why don't you go ahead and drop down in the comments, what is the craziest, most dangerous thing that you've done at home? If I think it's the craziest thing, I'll go ahead and pin your comment. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So what you're gonna need for this project is a box of matches, a plastic bag, a multi-tool, a slice of paper, and a hammer. Take the multi-tool out of its case, open up your box of matches. This plastic, very important, throw it away. You've got your 300 matches. You're not gonna need them all to make this powder. Definitely keep the box because it is necessary. You don't need a multi-tool, but pliers are very useful. Now open up your bag, take your match inside the bag and crush the tip. Turn the match around, crush the tip, and if you do it right, you'll be left with just an empty match. If you look in the bag, it's got the match head. Go ahead and do it for, I'd say about 50 matches. Alright, so after about 50 matches, as you can see, our balded match heads, you're left with all these chunks. What you need to do is this is where you use your hammer, crush them down. The finer the powder, the better the explosion. Every time it starts to spread out, just pick up the bag, sprinkle it back into the corner. You can see it's starting to turn into a more powder-like substance. So once you've got your powder, you pour it out onto your sheet of paper. All right, make sure you get all your remnants out. A nice pile of match head powder. A little bit of twigs in there from the matches, but that's fine, we don't have to worry about that. Now the reason I'm using a multi-tool is because we do need to utilize the knife. If you don't have a multi-tool, then just grab a knife separately. Now, you're going to scrape off the striker on the matchbox. And you're going to scrape it off in a way that creates a powder. You don't want to get the paper from the box, you just want the striker powder, which as you can see, that's what it looks like. It already comes off in a nice fine powder. And you want to do it separate from your green powder for now. So you just go ahead and keep scraping away. A sharp knife will work better. Okay, so once you have your striker powder, you combine the two into a single powder. Shake them together. You don't want all that fine powder to mix in. You see it's starting to mix. Now the hard part about making this impact explosive powder is getting the ratio between match head to striker correct. That is where you're either gonna completely fail or definitely succeed. All right, now at this point, it's time to test. <laughs> Okay guys, to keep this contained, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it up in the paper. 
I don't want it to not explode and then get all over the place. Essentially, I've made a very powerful popper. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. Three, two, one. So it did not explode, but it did put a hole in my paper. I've discovered a possible problem as to why it didn't explode. And I believe that is because the table absorbed the energy from the impact. You need a hard impact. So we're gonna go again on the regular table. Three, two, one. Like I said, the ratio is very important when it comes to this kind of project. If you have more striker powder, then you'll have more of an instant explosion. If you have less striker powder, it'll be more of like a, a flash flame fireball kind of thing. You can mess around with the ratios, do whatever you want to do to get the kind of effect that you're looking for. I've got lots more projects coming to you. Some including this very mixture. Stay tuned, subscribe, have a nice day, don't get shot.